All right, what's going on, everybody? This is Double D with Bad Boy Cranes. And today we're going to talk about a GCD 25 ton Grove carry deck. Let's go. All right, first things first, the key will be on the right side. And when you turn this key on, instead of waiting for a beep, you just a smooth turn. All you do is smooth turn it. Crank comes on. Next thing you got, you got your LMI. Let your LMI boot up. This one takes a little while to boot up. And see, there we go. Once it boots up, it lets you know what's up, what's going on with the carry deck. All you do is hit enter right here. And then bam, you're good. That easy. All right, now we're gonna talk about travel mode. When you're traveling, here's your modes to travel. As you can tell, keep it on this one. Always keep it on this one, because you can turn in the dime with this one right here. The rest of these, you only use for certain spotters. If a spotter tells you to cut in a tight area, then you'll start using these. Otherwise, leave them alone, and only keep this one going. Also here, keep this one down. This this will activate all tires. This only activate two tires. And keep that down here, unless you need to activate this where you're like in the mud or something. Otherwise, leave that alone and keep it down. And you got your lights here. You got your yield sign. You got your power. This right here is your PTO. This is to turn it off. It's to turn it on. When you turn it on, everything will work. Your joysticks, everything will work. And then this is your parking brake. Remember, when you're setting up the crane, make sure you hit that parking brake first. And over here, we got your gears. This right here is your gears. To go, to go faster and stuff. And then to uh, drive forward, you'll push this whole handle up to drive forward. To reverse, you push this whole handle down to drive down to drive backwards. It's all right here. I'll let you know, all right here. And then over this side, you got your windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. And then this button right here, you can barely see, is your horn. This button right here. So if you're looking around in the cab looking for your horn, to start working it's right here right there all right so now we're going to talk about setting up the crane the groves if you're familiar with a grove you always got to fun function with these buttons here this button here on top is is to scope out your outriggers and scope down your outrigger beams this button down here it's to scope in your outriggers and to bring in your beams. This top right here, the top buttons to scope out your outriggers, the bottom buttons are your beams. Top, bottom. So you will have to hold this button. So if you're setting up for the day, then you gotta hold the top button to set up. You hold this one down, and then you press one of these. I'll start off the left top one, and then I'll start off the left bottom one. And then so on on the right hand side and the right hand side bottom. Once you get your outriggers out, then work on the top first. Make sure they hit the ground. And then work on the bottom. Make sure they hit the ground. Once they hit the ground, come all the way up a little bit on the top, come all the way up a little bit on the bottom. Once you do that, your level will be on this side right here. And then you can play around with the bubble to make sure it's centered. And make sure you get your tires off the ground. Very important. All right. Over here, we got your exhaust. You leave that alone. On this side, it's your swing, swing brake. Your swing lock, swing brake. This one and this one. We don't touch this, we leave this alone. Just leave it in the middle. We 
keep this one. When you press the up, it locks. And this icon will pop up red, letting you know that it's locked. If you're ready to swing, press down. Now you're ready to swing. Otherwise, leave it there if you're chilling. This right here is a wrench right here in the front of your crane. If you need to pull out uh, equipment from tipping over or something, or you need to pull, this is the, what you use. You press the, you hold that button, and it'll, it'll scope out the, the cable in the front of the crane. It'll scope it all the way out. Whoever's dragging it to, to connect it to like a, a vehicle or some type of equipment to pull it in. And then this right here is to reel it in. Bottom button is to reel it in. Otherwise, you stay away from that unless it's for emergencies. And this right here, you leave it alone. This is optional. If you have a twisted drum, whatever, do not touch this. Leave that alone. And this right here, you know what that is. Everybody knows what that is. It's a defrost. Defrost your windows. Down here, where it's leaking with water, there's an AC down here. Which I don't know why they put an AC down here to mess up the floor. But it is what it is. It keeps me cold. It's hot outside. But yeah, AC down here, the knob and everything's down here. Alright, so you got your brake pedal and your throttle pedal. Make sure you use the throttle when you're moving the boom. That way you won't mess up no lines. Make sure you use your throttle. And that's all it is at the bottom, just a brake and the throttle. That's easy. Alright, up here to the left of the crane, you have your swing. You swing to the left, swing to the right. And then you have your scope out. Scope in or scope out right here. And then on the right hand side, you have your boom up, boom down, and then you have your cable up, cable down. Very easy. And then also on this side right here, you have your dear old cable up speed or cable down speed. You want to slow it down, you want to pick it up. Carry decks, you want to have it on high because it's still very slow. Just to let you know, FYI. But this is your boy Double D for Bad Boy Cranes. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button and subscribe down below. Comment down below if you want to see some more cranes. And we will have more content coming your way. But thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for giving out the feedbacks of the, of the videos. I appreciate it. If you want to learn a little bit more about this, just rewind the video, and I hope it helps y'all out. It's very easy to operate, very easy. Just be gentle with the joysticks, and you're good. You catch that load. All right, y'all, signing out.